Speaker is Caroline Buca. So please come over, Caroline. Um, so glad to be here to share uh, our experience in Brazil uh, here. And thank you, Jad and George, for invitation. So uh, as I can see, we, we are doing almost not the same thing, but um, many uh, similar things there and here. And uh, it's very nice to see this. Uh, you know, um, today I have learned some things with you that uh, uh, I'm going to share back in Brazil, because I think um, here you, you transform things uh, easier in projects. I think, sorry, it, it was not on, on the initiative. So it's about zombies, so I have <laughs> a gift. I was a little bit scared of zombies, but uh, as I have started working with Carlos, uh, I see zombies in another way, uh, because sometimes we are so stressed and we are acting like zombies. We didn't look like, but in our minds, we seem to be like zombies. So we, have, we need something to wake up and it's like this model. Uh, it's not only some people talking and other listening. Uh, we're sharing. We go there and we share experiences and idea and the speed dating and the tables. I have met and changed uh, ideas with so many people. And this is the best thing. Uh, this is the way uh, we, I think we have to learn. And this is the way kids want to learn, for sure. We have asked them. So uh, we started um, as who I am. I'm, uh, I like family, I like nature, I like traveling, I, like, um, I love learning, I'm, ve I'm very curious about everything, about life, about people. When I go somewhere, I just love to see people in the places. So this is the best thing for me. And I have uh, seen a big change in London. Uh, we were talking <laughs> that in different points. <laughs> for me, London now is more friendly, it's refresh, it's new. And for some other people, it's the opposite. But I think it's the way we see uh, things. So um, I started working with design thinking. Design thinking in 2010 in Rio. And after that, we have formed a group. It's The Think. And we have built uh, this space in a business school, SPM in Rio, uh, because we have a challenge. And in design thinking, you have to do something. You have to put it in practice. So uh, it, it, it ends up with this, uh, this whole place. And they are learning in this space they are now in, here, in Rio. So um, I was living in Rio, near to the beach. Uh, it's the best place in the world. <laughs> it's sunny every day. Uh, people want to play, um, work hard, but play really hard and relax hard also. Uh, but <laughs> I feel like um, with a purpose, I have to go back to South Brazil where we have winter and it's like more European uh, colonization. So it's a little bit more serious and I said I have to go there and I have to share design thinking with them. So uh, I ended up meeting Carlos and we co-founded this group that is called Thinkers Poa. And we um, start projects, uh, collab collaborate projects to to change the city, to change things. And so this is why I was um, talking to the girl uh, with the um, Olympic uh, area. So um, to see how we can change in a more easy way and not asking uh, or just um, expecting politicians to change things. So I think art can help a lot to change people. And we have to change our mindset. So uh, we start doing courses, and this one is uh, design thinking in a boat. So uh, people uh, learn the methodology in theory, and on the other day have to uh, go on a boat and sail. And it was really nice because um, uh, the most of them never have sailed a boat. So you have to do something for the first time in your life. And it's not always that you do something for the first time. Uh, at age, uh, there we are. And uh, they have learned and uh, realized lots of things through this. So when you put uh, your learning in practice, you change the, the way you learn. So it's a real nice one. Uh, I also have a blog with a friend. It's called Rescola. It's like reinventing the school. And it has started like, whatever, let's do it. And it started growing. 
and now people send us uh, their experiences in school and learning and whatever to share and it's like an open space to share if you have something and if you <laughs> want to share please send the uh, email and uh, we, you will be, it will be a pleasure to share so I also have my company it's called Idealiza uh, Ideation and uh, have worked in NRF it's like uh, the big uh, retail conf um, Federation, a national congress in New, uh, New York, and there we share, and we have done all these tables there with um, business people. They are not used to it, so uh, they have learned in a very new way for them, and it was really nice. Here it's Carlos and me. We are working very hard with uh, workshops in Brazil, and we have done like uh, more than 20,000 um, 20 workshops and more than 1,000 people, and it starts like a movement. So now people are asking us to, to do these workshops in design thinking in many areas, in education and in big universities and also in big inter, um, um, small inter interpreters and um, whatever, in many places, in many areas. And have you heard about design thinking? No? Yes? Some? Okay, uh, design thinking, you put knowledge into an experience. And here is an example, because uh, do, do you know uh, Ilha da Pascua? East Island, Easter Island. Uh, people used to live there, but somehow they disappear. And um, this is what is happening. Uh, we are growing, but sometimes we, <laughs> we have to see if we're right in our mindset, uh, because something we're doing wrong and we have to change it now, because in instead we're gonna be extinct. So we have to, ev um, to evolve or to be extinct. We have the choice. And do we have problems today? Yes, everywhere around the world. And sometimes our solutions are just like this. We have this kind of mindset. And in New York, in an Easter morning, in they, were, they had a problem with the pollution. The pollution because of the horses. And they have traffic. And they have ended without a solution. And now we have this. This is in India, but it is everywhere around the world. So we, we're doing the same thing. We think we are innovating, but we, we're doing almost the same thing. So companies um, used to have this structure, but now they need this kind of structure. So uh, this is a bacteria. It works in this way. So it flows. It doesn't uh, have fences. We are talking about fences in the early morning. And uh, nature doesn't work with fences. It just flows. It's organic. And here, uh, I don't know if you have seen it. It's like the map of the trains in Tokyo. And the engineers have um, take 10 years to build this, um, this map, like the best one. And uh, with a fungal, they put it in within 10 hours, the fungal uh, just grow the map on exactly the same, because they put like bread, small pieces of bread, and left the fungal, and it, it just built the way. The engineers have taken 10 years. So we have a lot of lo to learn with nature. And this has to do with, uh, this is internet that Paul Baron the, have designed. So uh, it was centralized. Now it's like more or less. And it's going to be whole distributed. So uh, this is the way technology can help us. It's something like nature to put all of us together, sharing. But we also need the human contact. It's, um, we, we need both. And we have to realize that uh, it's not going to be a just techno technological world, not just a human. Uh, it's going to be both. It's going to be a merge. And this is a um, picture of internet in MoMA. And maybe uh, next year it's going to be whole white. Because uh, they have one uh, the other like three years ago. It was almost black with just some lights, and now it's this, and it's going to be like the whole one. And here is uh, our synapses. 
This is what is happening inside our minds just right now. So we're trying always to get something that we have learned with something new. So this is the learning process. And this is a thought happening. And you can see this uh, red part. It's the emotion part. So emotion has to be in everything. When we are alive, when we are uh, having joy in learning, uh, we learn more because this thing is going to happen faster if we have the emotion to do it. OK, thank you. And this is our synapses um, happening inside us. This is neuroscience. So um, we are organic. We are <laughs> natural beings. So we have to use it for better. And uh, we are not um, matricials. We're not, we're, we don't need lists to learn. We, we need to share. We want to um, change our bodies to, and change ideas. So uh, I use this, <laughs> this picture because I think we're trying hard to do the same. But uh, we, don't, we don't have to do this. We, we need to do the other way. We, we need this kid to help them to do <laughs> different things. So we have to realize and not to be like zombies doing the same thing. And then this is the, the kind of link between zombies and the way we think things. So design thinking is about empathy, about collaboration, and about um, uh, prototyping. So we start from the empathy, and then you go to ideation, a free ideation, and then you go back and choose the idea and put it in practice. So it's kind of uh, it's a process that turns into a project. And I think in Brazil we are really creative, <laughs> but um, for us it's hard to put things in project. And uh, in Europe and in, in in London you have you very good on it. So I was talking to some people, you, we have to share, we have to, to learn with you, and maybe we can uh, share something that in, we have in Brazil. Because um, if we share and put different people uh, building things, we can build better things. So design thinking has to um, have an idea that it's human design. They're talking about it. So we need a, a new mental model. and. Um, we use this, it is the empathy map, you have it in Google, and you can use it always. It always works with businessmen, with children. Uh, it works like, oh, you have five minutes to do it, it works. You have one hour to do it, it works. So you can use it, it's very practical, it, it's very useful. And we, and we start something from this empathy map, and then you just see what happens. And um, here uh, it's uh, about motivation. You need to give autonomy to people, so they will be m more motivated with autonomy. And I don't know if you know about journey map. Journey map, uh, empathy map, it's a tool in design thinking, and journey map is another one. So this is a um, resonance magnetica. I'm alright. Okay, scanning. And it was a new one, but um, the designer of the the MRF, entered the, the, the hospital and he saw Sophia crying. She needed to do the scan and she was suffering. And he realized that the machine, the new machine, doesn't help people to be better, uh, to feel better in the process. So uh, we put here uh, all the process and what she does, uh, the people involved and the emotion. Am I really sick? Do I have to do this? I, d I don't want to do this. And when she sees the machine, she cries, and she gets really nervous about it. So the point to change was the machine. And then they turn into this. And it's very simple, it's very cheap, and it has changed the, the whole experience. Because now Sophia thinks she, she, she's going to uh, go camping. And <laughs> you cannot see the machine in here. And sometimes they uh, turn into this. So the, um, the sounds that machine makes, now they feel and turn into another experience. So they don't need to um, uh, put medicine on kids to, to do the, the exam. Because they think they, they, it's, they, it's going to be fun. So, okay, it's ended. Okay. So that's it. Um, 
I will have other things to share, but uh, we have to understand what motivates us. And what motivates us, it comes from our heart, uh, our mind also, but first for, from our heart. So that's it, we have to put our heart in what you do and everything is going to be better. Okay, thank you.